We can catch up next Thursday at 1 p.m. Well, it is next Thursday, and it's almost 1 p.m. So, is this when Steamboat Geezer is going to erupt? Like right now? Well, I would assume so. If the message was exactly what it said, exactly what it said, 1 p.m. We can catch up next Thursday at 1 p.m. But I have a suspicion the message was not exactly what it said. Since it is 1 p.m., let's see what's happening. Hey, that's weird. Hurricane Dorian has a value of 158, and Hurricane Gabriel has a value of 168. Gabriel never became a hurricane. And where are the geezers up to? Old Faithful, 116. Steamboat, that's the one we're interested in. 26 minutes past. Hmm, 26. That's interesting. Why is that interesting? Because it's 1 p.m. And if we look at Steamboat Giza, I'm just bringing it up. Hopefully, it's going to come up. Usually, if I click on it, there we go. It's just taking its time. It's sweet ass time. Okay, so here we go. The last eruption of Steamboat Giza, the last recorded eruption, it's now 8 days, eight, 18 hours, and it was 26 minutes at 1 p.m., right? became 27 at 1 past 1. Jake is 27. I said 26 is interesting. The last eruption was on Tuesday, last Tuesday. So it has now gone to Thursday Australian time, but it's still Wednesday in Wyoming. It's 1.02 in Canberra. But if we go to Wyoming, where the steamboat is, It's going to be 16 hours earlier, which means it is still yesterday, you might say. Wednesday, 11th of September. Around the peak of hurricane season is now September 11. So, Mountain Daylight Time, MDT. It just so happens that that has a value, those three letters, 13 plus 4 plus 20 adds up to 37. They have the same value as bulb. Bulb, as in daffodil bulb. Now if we go back, that eruption was interesting, 8 o'clock on the 8th of May. But we need to go all the way back to 2002 to see why 26 is interesting. It was this eruption here. A Friday eruption. The Mirror Boy was born on a Friday. Jake's Mirror Boy. Nathan's Mirror Boy. The Triplet. Martin. He wasn't born on this date. He was born 133 days after this eruption of Steinbeck Isa. And this eruption happened exactly a week after Martin was born. So Friday 26th of April and Friday the 13th was 140 days after Martin was born. 13 times 2 is 26. Either way you go, it's 26. 26 is the value of God, and 13 is the value of age, A-G-E. Nathan was 13, and his life path number is 5, but the number you get first is 32, when you add up all the digits in Nathan's date of birth, 24th of November, 1995, they add up to 32. 3 plus 2 is 5. Nathan was 13. Nathan was also born on Friday, and so was Jake. This is the anniversary of Jake's abduction and murder in Minnesota. 32 is here as well. 16 times 2 is 32. 
Jake was born in 1978, also on a Friday, Friday the 17th of February, 1978. So Jake, Nathan and Martin were all born on a Friday, Martin on Friday, September 6th, a week before this eruption. Bad Mirror Boy. Why Bad Mirror Boy? Why not just go off on his birthday? Mirror Boy is 133. No, it waited a week. It made... Did it make Martin a bad mirror boy? Or was it just letting us know that Martin has a bad mirror boy? There's a demon that mimics him, just like there's a demon that mimics Jake. And there's a demon that mimics Nathan, because all three are powerful angels. And powerful angels attract demons. Two plus two is four. That's why Jake and Nathan are not here anymore. My birthday, 27th of April, 2003. Gabriel, the name of the angel, 54. God is 26. Brat is 41. So that's why 26 was interesting. That's why I said, ah, 26. That's interesting. 37 minutes past. That's when I think it's going to happen. I don't think Steamboat's going off at 1pm. I think it's going off at 1.37am tomorrow morning. Australian time. Steamboat equals 96. That's the value of Steamboat. 96. It's 9.06 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. So, Steamboat Giza is going to go off at 9.37 tomorrow morning. So, just over 12 hours from now. Just over 12 hours from now. Reflection is 107. It is 107. A reflection in the mirror. It'll be 137 a.m. this morning in Australia. 1.37. Bulb equals 37. Like a daffodil bulb. Beautiful is 97. Beautiful. But so is hurricane. Hurricane is 97. Hope is 44. And so is Imelda. Jake's mirror demon. I think it's Jake's mirror demon, Imelda, but it could be Martin's. I'm not quite sure, because Jake and Nath Jake and Martin are so alike. It's hard to know whose demon is whose. But I'm pretty sure Dorian was Nathan's demon, symbolically. Symbolic equals ninety-eight. So. If we go to where Jake Chambers is from, 11 years and 8 months, that's how old Jake Wetterling was when he died. He didn't just die, he was kidnapped. Kidnapped and murdered by a demon, or was it by a human possessed by a demon? More like that, I think. Daniel's demon. That's who killed Jake. Daniel's demon. So Canberra, that's where Martin is. So Martin's left on his own. His two, his two, his two brothers, spiritual brothers, have left this world. So they're reaching out to Martin. Martin Swain equals one forty nine, and it is now one o nine p.m. So if Steamboat has erupted, it could all, it could be reported by now. Sometimes it gets reported that quickly. So it could have happened. It might have happened. Let's have a look. For all I know. But there's no report of an eruption yet. Because this zeroes out. When there's an eruption, it'd be saying nine minutes. But it's not. It's saying eight hours, eight, 
8 days, 18 hours, 35 minutes. 35. If you add up all the digits in Jake's date of birth, they add up to 35. 3 plus 5 is 8. So it's Jake's life path number. Number 8. Jayton is 46. Joshua is 74. Lucifer is also 74. Wedge-tailed eagle is 125. And Satan is 55. 2. Twins. Hmm. Triplets. Here we have twins. 162, 162. 19 km per hour wind and a 20 km per hour wind. Almost exactly the same. 16.2 degrees in Canberra and in Hobart. 183 is the value of Nathan and Crystal. Nathan and Crystal Breeze from King Lake West died together on Black Saturday with their mom and seven other people, including their little sister. So 183 is Nathan and Crystal, or Crystal and Nathan, 13 year old Nathan, a powerful angel. 234, the last eruption of Steamboat Geyser was at 234. It's now 8 days, 18 hours, 37 minutes. Bulb is 37. The eruption is going to happen at 137. It's because of a bee. It's because a bee landed on my thumb when I said King Lake West equals 137. And 173 people died in that disaster. Storm Boy is 127. Jerry is 76. Ken Barron is 76. Angel is 39. Bulb is 37. Hell is 37. Hell on Earth was King Lake West on Black Saturday, 7th of February 2009. It's near Melbourne. So 234, Steamboat Giza. It went off at 234, see. The most recent eruption, major eruption. Only major eruptions get recorded. That's what MAJ stands for, major. Major eruption. It means it goes really high. So three Tuesdays in a row. Tuesday the 20th of August, 27th of August, and then the 3rd of September. And so it's broken the pattern of Tuesdays because it's now Wednesday. In Wyoming. Prediction equals 113. The word prediction. Australian Eastern Standard Time. The time is going to be 137. 137 in the morning. So just over 12 hours from now. Steamboat is, is going to erupt. The time in Wyoming will be will be 9:37 a.m. But it will be Thursday in Wyoming and it will be Friday in Canberra. So it'll just be Friday morning. Something else that's interesting, the moon. Where is the moon up to right now? It's almost full. 96.2%. Steamboat equals 96. Martin was born on the 6th of the 9th. It's 96.2% the moon, waxing gibbous. Coming towards full, the full moon is on 14th of September at 2.32 in Canberra. The first quarter was on Martin's birthday, September 6. The third quarter moon is on 22nd of September. Hurricane Hugo made landfall on Friday 22nd of September 1989. Hurricane Hugo. That was near Charleston in South Carolina. 
September 6, the half dark, half light. 22 is the most powerful number in numerology. Dead is 14. DJ is 14. Don't forget the DJ. He's part of this. Who is the DJ? Yiming Yuan. Yeah, if you look this up, you'll find some pretty disturbing stuff. What they do in Singapore to people who are not violent people, not sadistic people, not people that have hurt anyone. This guy was just a drug user, drug addict, drug dealer, but very small time drug dealer. He was only buying for his friends at work. And they sentenced him to, to the maximum possible punishment outside of capital punishment, which they pu pushed to hang him, actually. They wanted to hang him. So they're real nice, aren't they, in Singapore? Real nice country, real nice people. I mean, I'm talking government, judiciary. I'm talking what they do to people. Torture is what demons do. They torture people. And it's not discipline, it's torture. After demonizing somebody, they torture them. Drug trafficker, Satan, Lucifer. He was a DJ, so he was obviously mucking around with some, you know, uh, Photoshop, whatever. Gave himself some horns. He's a nice guy. He's got a loving heart. And do you know how I know that? I know it because Jake and Nathan are boys of his kind. The same. They're the same. Loving heart. Good heart. Doesn't mean you're not naughty. Doesn't mean he's not a criminal. He's a criminal. He broke the law. Yes. But the people who tortured him have broken much bigger laws. And they too are going to have to face the consequences of their actions. Absolutely. They are. Mirabai, 133. Mirabai, Wetterling. 8 days, 18 hours, 43 minutes since Steamboat last erupted. Ming is 43, and that's his last name. Ming, the DJ, the former DJ. He's not DJing anymore because they threw him into jail for 20 years and caned him with Category 5 intensity, which is not exactly the sign of angels at work. It's the sign of demons at work. 426. Remember it was Friday, the 26th of the 4th? Wow. I haven't seen this before. Friday the 26th of the 4th was when Steamboat Giza erupted in 2002. Black equals 29. Nathan and Crystal died on Black Saturday. They died when there was a full moon. That is really weird. This is a date to keep in mind. It's the supermoon. First time I've seen it. I didn't know it was on the 29th. I actually, uh, the 29th came, I wrote something about the 29th already, but I didn't know it was the full moon. Mmm. It can trigger, it can trigger volcanoes, you know. And it obviously affects the tides. And if you get a storm, a hurricane coinciding, storm surge can be that much worse. Hmm, super moons. They don't happen that often, you know. This is sort of weird. I wasn't expecting that. 119, it's the value of Nathan Breeze. It's the time right now in Canberra. 119 p.m. Thursday, 12th of September, 2019. Very, very strange. Eight days, 18 hours, and 45 minutes. Jacob Irwin Wetterling, 
233. Daniel and Samuel, the twins in Red Rain by R.L. Stein, 135, is the value of Daniel and Samuel. The Storm Boy, the Storm Boy equals 160, Jacob is 31. Hmm. Well, I just printed something off and I'm going to go outside now. Could go on and on. I guess what I could do before I go outside is just quickly Google what's happening in the world of storms. So, I don't know. Maybe we go to Imelda name meaning. Okay. If you really want to. I guess it's telling me what to do. It means warrior. Has the same meaning as William. This is what I was talking about yesterday. All-consuming fight. It's Italian. Whole battle. Usually a girl's name. Generally a girl's name, but not always. Not necessarily. Hmm. Maria. That was a bad hurricane. Imelda. Okay. Uh, well, we'll try that again. I was going to go to the weather. Weather underground. That's where I was going to go. Okay. This will tell us what's happening with tropical weather at the moment. If it loads, hoping it will. 8 days, 18 hours, 47 minutes. 13 hours since the... Great fountain erupted. Bad boy is 49. Pond is 49. Ooh, 137. That's the time. It's going to be 1.37 a.m. Canberra time. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Friday the 13th. That's when Steamboat's going to go off. Pond is 49. Sign is 49. Snake is 50. And... Nathan is 50. The good snake. Nathan's the good snake, like the green tree python. And Nathan, the original form of Nathan, there's no H, equals 50. Black Saturday, 138. Fire is 38. The Dark Tower, equals 148. God is 26. Man is 28. Man. Boy. Man. Yi Ming Yun. Yoshua. 1, 2, 3 is the value of Firestorm. Firestorm. 1, 2, 3. And it's also the value of the evil boy. 1, 2, 3. The evil boy. Who is the evil boy? He's the demon. Who's the sinful boy? Sinful boy is one, two, three. Narcissus is one, two, three. It's the name of the daffodil. Narcissus. The pond boy. One, two, three. Look at me. Wyoming. It's still yesterday. 16 hours. So... We're getting close. It's reflecting. 123 where I am. 923. Now 24. In Wyoming. 16 hours difference. It's 12 hours. We're 12 hours away from the steamboat eruption. And 13 minutes. It's going to happen in 12 hours and 13 minutes. 24 plus 13. Is 37. It's going to be 137 in Canberra and it's going to be 937 in Wyoming. AM either way except one is Thursday and one is Friday. Canberra it's going to be Friday the 13th. 137 AM. 
9.37 a.m. Mountain Desert Time. Because right now it's p.m. So in 12 hours, it'll be a.m. Both in Wyoming and here. They're heading towards p.m. We're heading towards... Well, we're just continuing with our p.m. thing for quite a while. Yeah, 16 hours is a lot. Big difference. Reflection. Two, five, three, two, three, five. Another thing I usually do when I'm making a video like this, I usually go into the weather in a bit more depth. Just so you know, there's a few more little mementos in the video. Mementos, 26. God is 26. And 11.44. Imelda equals 44. It just happens to be the time this was issued, that's all. Does it mean anything? Well, who knows. It's the 11th of September. Except it's not. It's the 12th. But Universal Time is also behind Australia's time. So you can see that when you go to Rain Radar. The only thing you can't see on Australia's Rain Radar is rain. You can see everything else. 12th of September, see? It's just become 12th of September. Universal Time Coordinated. Uh, where can I go where there's something to look at? No, really. It's Australia, man. Endless Drought. It's the year of Endless Drought. It's like, two th it's like 2002. The year Martin was born was a drought year. That was the start of the drought. The drought that led up to Black Saturday. Began in 2002. Well, that was the first really, really, really dry year. Extraordinary, extraordinarily dry. There's nothing to look at, man. Just give up. True. What about, should we check Steamboat? Has it erupted? Nope. So the prediction for 1 p.m. probably would have been a bust, although it doesn't always get reported that quickly. Stormboy, 127. Jake is 27. Hey, we're eight minutes, is it? No. Learn maths, man. Nine minutes. No. Eight minutes. Did I say eight minutes? What's well, changed now? It's nine, dude. Oh, yeah. Nine minutes. In nine minutes, it'll be 37 minutes past. Nathan's better at maths than me. 137. That's going to be the time. 137. Hmm. 128 is the value of Stephen King. Stephen King equals 128. Author of The Dark Tower. There are other worlds than these. And there is a certain serpentine bad boy who is actually an angel. But he likes to pretend he's a snake. Actually, he is a snake, but he's a good snake. He's a good snake who likes to pretend he's a bad snake. Don't ask why. But he does. So, it's 324 Universal Time Coordinated, and that is 1124. That's weird, because I looked at the radar at exactly the same time yesterday. I kid you not. I mean exactly 1124. I remember. It's Nathan's date of birth. That's why I remember. 24th of the 11th. That's weird. Because I was just talking about Nathan, actually. Green tree, green python boy, green tree snake boy. 24th of the 11th, 1995. 
Ah, there's rain on the radar. Look, exciting. I mean, you know, you probably wouldn't get you wouldn't get wet by it, but it's exciting enough. Slightly different on the time there. That's that's how it is. It varies from radar to radar, just by a little bit. So I was gonna show you. Oh yeah, it's probably loaded by now. This tropical disturbance heading towards Florida. Well, here we go. But what is it? Danger today. Severe storms with possible tornadoes. Where's that? Somewhere up around here, by the looks. Wettest year on record is this year in the USA. Dorian, one of the strongest hurricanes ever in the Atlantic. Right up there with the best of them, the worst of them. So let's look at this. Tropical disturbance heading towards Florida. Watching 95L. It's just a heavy rain threat. If it becomes a storm, well, the next one that becomes a storm will be Humberto. That's the H name now. If you go back to 1989, it was the same name list. Gabriel was on there. But Humberto was not. It was Hugo. Hugo is the one that made landfall exactly one month before Jake was abducted and murdered. I found that out a long time after I started calling Jake the Storm Boy. But I thought 22nd of September, 22nd of October, there's no connection. There's no logical connection. But it's kind of interesting when you think about it, because the last thing, one of the last things Jake would have seen on the news, or something that would have been fresh in his mind, would have been Hugo, Hurricane Hugo. Just like now, if, if I died now, the latest natural disaster that I'd have in my memory would be Dorian. Well, for Jake, it was Hugo. It was probably the last natural disaster he saw in the news. They didn't happen quite as frequently back in 1989. Now it's like multiple disasters every week. Anyway. It's far too soon. Yeah, so... Who knows? Who knows what's happening with the storms? But I've, I'm, I'm thinking Imelda and Lorenzo are the two that are going to be major hurricanes. Maybe landfalling hurricanes. 12-12, hey? And major landfalling hurricanes, the brothers of Dorian. And you might say, huh? Brothers? Imelda's a girl, man? I know. No, Imelda's actually a boy. She's uh, a boy dressed as a girl. Imitating the clown. Because Nathan was a clown. But it's not Nathan that it's imitating, because his, his storm was... His storm was... Dorian. 133. Wetterling. Mirror boy. 133. Ooh, how weird. How, how cool, I mean, Martin, Martin Swain, 149. And we're right at the point where it's about to change to 8 days and 19 hours. How cool is that? Pretty cool. So we've got 149 in the mix. At the same time as where the time is frozen. <laughs> 133 is 933. Hey, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're nearly at 937. We're almost exactly 12 hours away. I've been filming for half an hour. 34 minutes, man. Okay, better be quick. Because what happens after 52 minutes is my camera automatically cuts the video off. Better be quick. There you go. 8 days, 19 hours. 13 and 13. 150. They're all ticking along. As they should. 
ticking, ticking along. So I'm not sure who it's imitating. The boy who's dressing as a girl. I suspect it's Jake. I'm pretty sure it's Jake. Because Jake was a bit of a prankster. So the demon that's imitating him is also going to be a prankster. A clown. A killer clown. Imelda is actually a boy. Daniel and Samuel, 135. The mirror boy is 166. 17. Lad equals 17. The mirror boy, 166. Hmm. Well, we're almost there. Jesus Christ. 151 is the value of Jesus Christ. It's also the value of Holy Spirit. And they say prophecy is a gift of the Holy Spirit. So, if this comes true, I guess the Holy Spirit is telling us something. And I guess the Holy Spirit doesn't care if the messenger is gay. Which I am. Definitely. Always have been. Ever since I was nine. Eight. I don't know. I was young. I was young when I first realised. Very young. One thirty six. Thursday, September twelfth, twenty nineteen. Here we go, people. It's almost exactly twelve hours away. And we've got the mirror boy. One six six. Perfect timing. What I should do is bring up the time in Wyoming and the time in Canberra at the same time. And you can see it. And I'll bring it up big. And I'll bring this up again. There it is. Bang. Exactly 12 hours until Steamboat Giza erupts. 1.37 tonight, where I am. Which is 1.37 tomorrow morning. To be technically correct, I guess. Bulb is 37. Bulb. Hell is 37. And Mountain Daylight Time is also 37. M. D. T. Okay, so we've had a look at the weather. I think that brings us up to date on what's happening in the tropics. I can't... I don't think there's any way to know what storm's going to be what at this stage. Or if that's going to get a name or not. If whatever the next storm is will be Humberto. That's all I know. Then H.I. is Imelda. And then Jerry. So who's the clown? Is it Imelda? Or is it Jerry? What do you think? I was thinking Jerry. For a couple of days there. Because I thought, what's the name of Jake's dad? Well that made me think it's probably not Jerry. But then I thought Jerry Seinfeld. New York. There could be a New York connection. And Jerry Seinfeld's a comedian. So, Jerry, Dorian, Derry, Killer Clown, Derry, It, Stephen King, yeah, Dorian, and Jerry, DJ, Dorian and Jerry. So it all makes sense. It could be Jerry. It would have made sense if it was Jerry. Bad Mirror Boy equals 140. That's what the time is about to be soon. 139 is the value of, or well, Angel is 39. My shower makes these weird noises. And never used to does now just randomly so there's a point to all this if the Holy Spirit wants to send a message I'd say it's got something to do with this guy it's got something to do with Jake it's got something to do with Nathan and it's got something to do with Martin I'm talking about triplets because I'm talking about Jake Nathan 
and Martin, but I'm also talking about Jake, Nathan, and Yuming Yuan. So it's like two sets of triplets. Actually, that fits something I said to someone. It's like triangles that... Yeah, right. Interconnecting triangles. Bad Mirror Boy, 140. It is 140. That's our number. That was the number of days between those two eruptions of Steamboat Kiza. It has not erupted at 1pm. 8 days, 19 hours, 5 minutes. 95, Nathan's year of birth. Yeah, okay, well, that'll do. We're up to date on the tropical weather, and we've seen no eruption, safe to say now, so we can go outside. while it's daylight. Not that it's very nice, but... Whee. They say birds are oracular. Messengers, angels. Well, I kind of know that's true. That's why I called Jack this, well, the eagle boy, and from that, the storm boy. And then Nathan as well. The Eagle Boys. And the Clown. And bees, the birds and the bees. Well, like I was saying, it's our number, 140. The number of days between those two eruptions. Bad mirror boy. Mirror sign. Bulb equals 37. The next eruption is coming at 9.37. Tomorrow morning in Wyoming. 1.37. Tomorrow morning in Canberra. Another one. There it is. Birds are oracular. Angels. Messengers. Is that one? Spring has sprung. Angels. The angels are here. Eastern Rosellas. And this little guy is still there, dancing around. So yeah, 137. I think this is going to happen. Three beautiful daffodils, the identical triplets. Where is he?
clowns, kookaburras. Maybe they think I'm the clown. Three beautiful daffodils. Three beautiful daffodils, except there's six of them. Because someone put a mirror in the garden. The identical triplets. Dorian, Imelda and Lorenzo are the demons that mirror the angels. That's how it is. Dorian was Nathan's demon. I'm pretty sure Imelda is Jake's demon. And that means Lorenzo must be Martin's demon. But I could be wrong. I'm not quite sure whose demon is whose. Except I am pretty sure Dorian was Nathan's. Only because Breeze and Dorian have the same value. 61. So... I could be wrong there. Often am. But... They are the three. I'm pretty sure about that. It's the year of Trinity. And Imelda is not a girl. That's why I think she's Jake's. I think Jake's the... But then Nathan used to do that too. He used to sometimes put on girls' clothes. Like Hiago. What if it's Hiago's de demon? I don't know. Hiago Sousa is my favourite YouTuber. Well, he used to be anyway. I mean, when he was on there. Even though he only spoke in Spanish. I liked his videos. His role plays were awesome. F funny. He was a clown. He was quite a clown. He used to dress as a girl too sometimes. Yes, yeah, so whose demon is whose? I don't know for sure. But I did a few things. Things that have the same value. Oracular B. Interval. See what happened? A B landed on my hand. Right when I said... It was right when I said, King Lake West equals 137. A bee came and landed on my thumb. That's why I decided, I think it's 137. I can hear bees now. 1 p.m. devil, 1 p.m. riddle, reflected bulb. Bad mirror boy, the bad steam boy, Imelda, steamboat, out it comes. Steam, Jacob, Selwyn, the reflected bulb, 148, Steamboat Geezer, the angel, and the demon, and a crow starts calling. That was a crow. How weird was that? Right when I said the angel and the demon. The Mirror Demon. Martin Swain, 137. Talk about uncanny timing. Martin from Laurentum. Lorenzo means from Laurentum. 137 Australian Eastern Standard Time. 9.37, Mountain Daylight Time. Wind jets spurting. 1.99 hours? Well, that's because... 1.99 is the value of 1.37. I think that's, that's the bird that was here in the path when I came outside. It is. Same type of bird anyway. It's probably more than one. Maybe not even the same. Martin from Laurentum. So, 
9.37 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, 1.37 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. The picture of Dorian Gray, resilient boy Lorenzo. Dorian was resilient. Not expected, he wasn't expected to survive, you know, as a storm. But he went on to become a super, a super storm. A monster. Destroyer. Demon. Out of control. No self-control. A wrecker, a smasher, a vandal, a killer. Out of control, crazy demon. Dorian. Deadly Dorian. Dorian the Destroyer. Man, this is getting so weird. Maybe I should be careful what I say. Birds are oracular. Well, it is spring. That's why. That's partly why. Martin's pseudo-narcissism. Did you know the Welsh symbol?